Jacaranda leaves? Biomes of plenty? And what the... What the heck is this place? And what's going on here? And... It just... What? Why? How? What? Who? What? What? What are you doing? Wait, why am I so short? What is going on here? Why am I... Oh. My. Goodness. Hey, what's going on guys? Coffee Buddha 738 coming back. And yes, that's purple ground and some purple trees and some pink trees over there. And yes, the sky looks a bit different. And yes, more importantly, I am a bat. But I am playing Minecraft on something known as Revenge of the Sea Team. Bum, 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 bum. It's a mod pack put out by a bunch of guys. Uh, it was, I think it's a spiritual successor to Attack of the Bee Team, a mod pack I wanted to try for a while, but I never got around to it. This is a bit of a newer one, more updated mods and whatnot, and I thought I'd give it a try and actually do something with it. So, here we are. And, I, as you saw in my intro, there is a wicked awesome city right here. Like, this is a, a village generally, like, randomly generated by the game itself, as one of the mods can do. But, like, look at this thing. It's absolutely gorgeous. Absolutely pretty. And there's, like, a cool little castle fort thing here. And this cool little tower. And, like, it's completely walled in. And, like, it's just unbelievably awesome. But I spent time looking around. Probably a good week and a half. <laughs> exploring the mods. Or the mod pack and stuff. Trying to find the best place to live, and I wanted to find an island that's kind of isolated, but also close to stuff. And I found this place. This island is huge, so I got lots of room to play around on. And right close to that village too, so if I want to do, some, do any trading or whatever. But there's a lot of stuff involved in this mod pack. There are about 149 active mods in this mod pack. I think there's 177 or something total. But for some reason, I can only get 149 running, which is more than enough to explore and play around in. But, like, there's bushes, like berry bushes. Oh, wait, I should probably turn on this. Raspberries. And, like, there's, what else we got here? Any new rocks? I thought I saw one over here. Fossils. And, like, harvest level redstone. I guess I need some redstone tools to make it work. I don't know. But there are shells. And there's oh, something else I wanted to show as well. Where is it? Here it is. Like, look at this quicksand it doesn't make you fast but it does make you sink i'm in creative so it won't do anything but in survival if i were a bat in survival right now i'd be drowning but anyway let's just like, it's just unbelievable i wanted to put a little video out just to do a bit of an intro to show you guys you know what's to be expected in the next upcoming series and whatnot and just to give you an idea of what's been going on like, I know I haven't put a Minecraft out, but I spent a lot of time trying to get this one running properly, so hopefully this becomes an ongoing thing, but uh, we'll see how it plays out. But this is going to be my base of operations. I'm going to build a, a big building on here somewhere, a house, and with all the other mods that are in play, I'm sure there's going to be, like, room for factories, for uh, probably, like, electronic stuff, like, just ridiculous. But, like, the mod has so much stuff in, in it, like, just to... Stuff you could do, stuff you could check out. Yep, it's going to be a blast, I think. So hopefully it works out for me. The mods tend to the mods tend to lag down the computer a bit, so it tends to run a bit slowly at times. Right now we're running pretty smooth, but uh, I hopefully can uh, avoid any future problems. It took a bit of work to get this all running properly, so hopefully it continues to do so throughout the, vi the videos I put out. Uh... There's also, uh, I played a bit last night with a bunch of friends. We did a uh, regular vanilla Minecraft. Uh, we fought the Ender Dragon. And uh, although the content wasn't really for the kids, and my videos in Minecraft usually are, I will uh, edit appropriately. 
So here's a bit of a highlight as to how he did in the Ender Dragon fight. Check it out. <laughs> Yeah, we totally kicked butt. There's also news. Uh, a buddy of mine has a server up and running again. I'm going to be working on that a bit as well. Trying to get some maps and stuff built there so I can always showcase a lot of that. Uh, yeah, like, it's just going to be so much fun. Honestly, you guys, I'm gonna, I got a lot of content to put out, which is going to be great for, for YouTube and you guys. So hopefully you guys enjoy it. And uh, yeah. So look forward to some cool stuff coming, and uh, hopefully you guys will stick around and enjoy, and uh, yeah. Uh, just to give a big shout out to some people, uh, to my niece and nephew, Addison and Aiden. You guys have been begging and begging and begging for Minecraft videos, and I know I didn't put you in this one, I'm sorry, but you guys were at camp, and I had to get something out. Uh, it was begging to be recorded, so I'm sorry, I'll get you guys in one soon, I promise. Uh, to my kid Jonathan, my son, you are awesome, and uh, hopefully you, got, you enjoy my videos. Maybe you can get on some as well, and play around and have a good time. Uh, to my littlest fans, maybe fans, but at least one, to uh, Paige and her brother Ethan. Hi Paige, I miss you so much, oh, and Ethan, I miss you too. Pagey, I'm sorry I haven't come to see you in a while, but I will be there as soon as I can to see you. I'm sorry. I miss you. I miss you a whole bunch, and I'll come see you soon. I promise. Oh. Anyway, that's enough for me. I'm sorry for getting all emotional there, guys, but... Oh, Pagey. Anyway, guys, sun's going down. I'm going to cut the video, do some editing, and get it out to you guys, and hopefully you guys enjoy it. But, uh, yeah. Thanks for joining me, guys. And I hope to see you in the upcoming adventures of my experiences with Minecraft. Woo! Peace out, y'all. Squeak, squeak. <laughs>